Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So I'm super stoked today. I got both of my miners in. The KS0 Ultras came in and I am just so happy to have them. I know that the difficulty rating is going up. I know that the uh, uh, rewards are going down. I know that there are new miners coming out this uh, fall in the next uh, couple months and into the winter and probably going to see some other new miners coming out in the spring. So I know that it's just going to get worse and worse, but these two miners at 100 watts at 400 giga hash between the two of these and the KS0 Pro that I have now, it's going to put me over one terahash. And you know what? I feel like I have a little leg in the game, uh, maybe not forever, but for a while, I think that I got a decent shot still earning a little Caspa and uh, stacking a little bit of the coin in my bag. So these are the miners right here. Let's see if I can get them off the, the desk. Uh, here they both are here. They are brand new right out of the box. Still smell fresh. Love it. I am ready to get these things going. Now, before these even got here, I started buying some parts in anticipation for these miners in a direction I should have did the first time when I had the KS0 Pro, and I didn't, but I'm doing it right this time. So let me hop over and just show you what I got here. So this is the miner that I bought right here, $239. Um, you know, like I said, 400 giga hash, 100 watts out of the box. Really can't beat. That's really decent numbers. So I'm happy with the miner. Um, looks like they only have three miners for sale right now. Uh, the two on top and bottom are the same, ones with hosting and ones without. So they really only got three. Like I said, there's probably with the new miners coming out, uh, we're going to see them probably just trying to dump any of their product that they have just to get ready for the new miners that eventually are going to be coming on the market. So we'll see where all that plays out. But for now, I'm just excited to have these here power supplies this is something i should have did in the beginning and i didn't i bought the stock power supply for the ks0 pro then when i wanted it was 20 dollars. then when i wanted to overclock it i bought another power supply uh, for the ks0 pro and that one was like 80 dollars. so i when i was going to buy these i decided not to get the power supply for these and i was just going to use the hp server power supply that i should have used in the beginning which is what i'm using now in the other room on the ks0 pro and it's 1200 watts so it more than covers everything i need now just remember that when you plug these in for 1200 watts they have to be plugged into a 220 outlet to get that full 1200. if they're plugged into a regular wall you're going to get the 800 uh, watts out of them now uh, right now it is plugged into a regular wall outlet because it just has the one miner i am going to move this into the grow tent and with it in the grow tent it'll be plugged into 220 it'll get the full 1200 and i could put all three miners on it so what you do is you grab one of these over here you don't need any cables because we're going to talk about cables in a second all you need is a breakout board now there's two breakout boards here i chose the second one's a little bit more expensive and let me show you why this is the first one it's a little uh, cheaper but it has the volts on it and that may be useful in certain situations the breakout board that I have in here right now has the volts and the amps. If you multiply that together, you get your watts. And that's like having a power meter built right onto your power supply. And I think that's pretty valuable. So I like having it with uh, the both readouts. So for the $78 for this and the breakout board, if you went for the cheaper one, it's $67. Um, I think that, you know, for the extra 11 bucks, in my opinion, it's worth it. So anyway, Parallel Miner, I got a link in the description, affiliate link, definitely help support the channel, save a few bucks yourself. So uh, definitely check them out. Now you got a breakout board, you got a power supply. Now you need some wires. That's easily enough uh, gotten. And that's right here. And let me tell you something, actually, it's not easily gotten because these are the only ones that I really found that have the quality that I really trust. Um, I looked at these wires. I've looked at other wires and other people selling similar things. And I got to tell you, this is the one that I chose to go with. Uh, it's got a really strong connector, barrel pin, 12 volt on one side, six pin on the other. It's about a two foot long cord. I don't know the gauge of wire inside. I wasn't able to find that. Um, so I can't give you that number, but uh, Vet Reminder is a reputable uh, business, and I would say that they're, um, they're doing the right thing when they're making their cables. So you take this, you plug this into your breakout board, you go on this end, you go straight into your miner, and off you're off to the races. Just going to go ahead and take this miner, I'm going to plug it straight into the uh, breakout board on the HP server power supply, and just let it run stock and uh, see what the temperatures bring me. So I am excited to get this, y'all. So this is really, um, really great day for me. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. I'll be right back in a minute. We'll see where we're at. 
all right so i got the miners up and running i got it all set up in the grow tent it's real tight it's real clean it's uh it's just the way i wanted it to be so i'm real happy with the setup with the uh, hp server power supply and everything running in there it's just uh it's the best setup i could have done i wish i did that before again i really didn't have that wire uh, veteran miner has that wire now and it made it super easy to use with that now with these server power supplies so for me that's the only direction i'm going to go in in the future i've got some gold shell boxes down in crazy town and i've got them all hooked up to hp server power supplies i've got two and three miners hooked up to one uh, power supply so they are the best in my opinion for what applications we're using them for. Uh, I did run the advanced port scanner and they came up down here at the bottom, Mitsubishi Electronic System and Service Company Limited, kind of weird, uh, but here they are right here. So I've got the IP address. I could click on the HTTP and that would take me directly to it. And here they are here. Uh, this one's been running for a little over four hours. I did have to break away to help my wife hang up some shelves. So she's happy. I'm back up here. I had a chance for these to really uh, settle in and run for a while. It's averaging 401. Really can't complain. That's about what it should be at. And the other one. Now, this one I did just reboot about 46 minutes ago. Um, and it's because it was a low hash rate. It was down at about... I don't know, about 392, 391, something like that. It was it was definitely lower. Now, I know there is going to be that silicon lottery and it could be up or down 10% or something around that number, uh, but I was hoping for it to just be a glitch and a reboot would help that. So it is averaging for the 30 minute above the 400 mark before, like I said, that was below. That was the 392-ish. So it is definitely up from where it was and hopefully it'll hold at this position. And I'm happy with this one also, uh, both running really good. Really quick, before we wrap it up, we'll check out some numbers. Uh, this 24 hour was about uh, 8.3 uh, earlier today. Now it is slowly climbing up as these miners are progressing and as they're coming into the averages in here. Uh, but just for argument's sake, it was about 8.3. So we'll see what this is in uh, about another 24 hours. We'll see where it finally settles out at. And um, we'll start stacking a little extra Caspa. Look, I'm really happy with what I have for the amount of money I've spent on these home miners for what they are, how big they are, how much heat they put out, how much electricity they use. They're really great little home miners, but everything's running really smooth. So um, I couldn't be happier. Anyway, there you go. You wanna to subscribe to the channel? Button's right over there. You wanna watch any of my other videos? I always got one right up over there. I appreciate y'all checking in. I'll have an update on this maybe in another week or two. We'll see where this uh, all settled out at. And I'll see you then. Thanks.